looking for her, her teammates. And they are scoring. He sweeps across the lane and lays it in with a left hand. Down low inside for Hobby, just muscles her way to the rim. Reverse layup is up and good, and Camille Hobby pushes the Wolfpack lead to 13. Hobby's only started one game in her career before tonight, but against Virginia Tech two seasons ago, a 19-9 performance. She can be that force as a sweeping left-hand layup is up and good for Grisdale. First points of the ball game for the Bobcats. It's remarkable on the floor right now for the Wolfpack. You have two former ACC sixth players of the year in Jada Boyd and Diamond Johnson. And now Camille Hobby added to that lineup. That's from her the right shot. elbow. Won a national championship a season ago from Wilmington. A lot of potential in this young lady. Yeah, top three recruits coming out in her year. Jumper on the way from Helms is unbelievable up athlete. Three. Bobcats a little bit more effective defensively in the last couple of minutes. As Michaela Morris rattles in the jumper. She can do a little bit of everything out there for this Bobcats team. Again, was a second team all max selection a season ago. Camille Hobby, Camille Hobby with the up and under. She has great footwork. Caverly lines up that shot, hits it off to the right, and the rebound taken away by the Wolfpack. Here's Sanaya Rivers on the push. Look at the quickness. Sanaya Rivers and hangs one. in the air and scores it in the foul. Take the back to hit Sanaya on a nice juke, straight to the basket. Went up strong and got the end one. And the Bobcats are only having all kinds of trouble right now getting this ball into the lane with five on the shot clock. Caverly with a good stutter step that time. Might have picked up that back foot, but we'll give her the basket. Yeah. Good entry pass good down pass. low. Back to Sanaya Rivers, who lays it up and in, and Rivers gets her first basket, second basket, I should say, as the breeze from outside pushes that one over the back of the rim. This is Zaya James on the push. Little turnaround jumper is up and good from the baseline for Mimi Collins. Hangs in the air. James misses that one strong. Offensive rebound, though, swatted away. Oh. And again by Baskerville. Baskerville just quick off the floor. She's very athletic. She has bounce. She, they've never seen it before, the way she gets up off the floor. Said at this level, they've never seen, seen anybody it. get off the floor like that before. And there's a good example of it right there. Bobcats haven't scored in over three minutes. As Baskerville makes a little scoop Ooh, shot. Nice gets up scoop underneath shot to the basket. Caverly, a step inside the three-point line, misses that one, and a good box out and a rebound by Madison Hayes. Here's Sonia Rivers, head up. Nice. Ooh. The little that crossover. And the left-handed layup for Sonia Rivers. Being replaced by a number of players, including Jada Boyd, Diamond Johnson, Camille Hobby out there, as well as the aforementioned Jada Boyd in the lane with a soft touch that time, Ernie. Really difficult games potentially on the schedule in non-conference play, Ernie as Coach Moore really challenging his group this season as the three-pointer from the corner by Diamond Johnson is up and good. And if you're the Bobcats, the biggest struggle for them was trying to get things inside as Douglas knocks down the three. That's a big shot right there, right off the screen. Nice knockdown. 41 to 14 in favor of the Wolfpack, trying to get it down low for Baskerville. Oh, nice skip pass. Three-pointer out of the corner is up and good for Jackie Grisdale. Hayes had a hand on that rebound for a moment, but Haywood able to rip it away. Now she'll step into an open three, knock it down. I tell you, those threes, you, so once you see one or two drop. The preseason mid-major player of the year award watch list recipient as Camille Hobby gets the ball knocked away from her. And now Caverly finds Haywood open for three. Knocks down uh -huh. another one, four in a row for the Bobcats. Perimeter defense has slacked up a little for the Wolfpack, but uh, yeah, once you see a couple of those shots go down as a team, you're like, hey, man. And then they wolf pack answering right back as Diamond Johnson knocks down her first one from deep. <laughs> she knocks those threes down. Stops the run for the Bobcats, and then there's the takeaway. Good defense that time by the Wolfpack is. Really talented offensive player, has six points in the ball game. Two of two from the three-point line. As Michaela Morris working against the That's size of shot. River Baldwin, able to get it up over the top of her. She's under control. She's doing a great job as a floor general. He'll take a 2-0 to zero assist to turnover ratio any day as Jada Boyd sweeps across the lane and lays it in with the left hand. Just a little past the halfway mark of quarter number three as Jakia knocks down the three from the wing. And Jakia Brown-Turner at long last has her first basket of the day. Team high 14 points, game high 14 points, and the lead 
Creeping back up toward that 30-point mark, 51-25 in favor of the Wolfpack as Caverly trying to answer and rattles that three in. Move. And playing behind uh, Lisa Kinane and Camille Hobby the last couple of seasons, you can only get better with that kind of practice opportunity. Ten on the shot clock as Grisdale knocks down another three. She and Diamond Johnson. <laughs> Johnson gets her hands on another loose ball, couldn't pull this one away. Helms will knock down the short jumper from the baseline. I feel like uh, Coach Fabry might have had a few uh, choice words for her team in the locker room about playing with poise after they looked really out of sorts in the first half as Diamond Johnson with a step back from 18. We're under a minute to play here in this third quarter. Catch and shoot three by Grisdale. A little bit hard off the back of the rim and the rebound to Rivers. Look at Rivers just pushing the ball. So much speed Riding. with the scoop layup up and in. And the extension. And she's been really a, an impact player on both ends. Yeah, yes, she has. With the length and the way she's directing the offense. Look at that pass. Up underneath for Isaiah James with the lay-in. And Saniah Rivers smiling and pointing. Homegrown. Shot, Shot off to the left. And Isaiah James oh, skipped it ahead for Timmons. Jumpers up oh. and good. Lost the basketball on the floor. Did LaBarge. Able to save it, though. Again, under 10 on the shot clock. Mimi Collins steps in front and takes the ball away. Three on two, back the other way. Good pass. Up and underneath, laying it in the foul for Jessica Timmons. Six and a half to play here inside Reynolds Coliseum on what's been a fun opening night for the defending ACC champions. See, you got to play defense if you want to play for Coach Westmore. Jumper They're banks it in. 30 points. Wolfpack back the other way with Sanaya Rivers. Like you said, head up, directing traffic <laughs> right now for the Wolfpack. That's her shot. Collins from the elbow. White makes the catch and will fire an 18-footer. Knock down the basket and then a foul away from the basketball that I think is going to go on Jessica Timmons. Ten seconds on the shot clock is Rivers. Good pass. Nice Good pass. pass. River Baldwin. Morris driving inside, swatted away by River Baldwin, but the second chance opportunity up and good. Six in the game for Morris. Just three of 10 shooting though. The step back jumper on the way is good. And that's what's important in a game like this. You yes. wanna go out and have fun? It's Jessica Timmons, little inside outside dribble and the fall Tough away shot. jumper is good. A lot of depth on this team and a lot of potential. You can see why even after all the departures from last season, this team was picked third in the ACC and then in the top 10 nationally as James. Bang. So partner, what do we see tonight that we like that's gonna carry forward into Thursday's matchup with Elon and then into some of the bigger games as well later on in this uh, non-conference portion of the season? Uh, just the way they're playing together. The Wolfpack is displaying right here. I mean, <laughs> they just have so many weapons. And here's Sophie. Nice pass. You got your four player posting up your five player. Little big, to big little big to big action little that big time. Little big to big action. They're sharing the basketball. McDonald's. Non-conference portion of the season. <laughs> when you play some of those better teams, Coach Moore is going to have to find a way to kind of trim the, uh, the, the rotation down to seven or eight players. And he's got a lot of options. He's got a lot of options. Jeff and, and the Wolfpack is winning almost by 40 points. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be a... A tough look for Elon <laughs> coming in here trying to get a win, but um, this team just played together.